I'm Nitin and welcome back to PSLE 2021 Math Paper 2 Question Series and today I'll be going through question 4. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so this is question 4 and it is testing us on fractions and model drawing and it is also testing us slightly on graph reading skills. Okay, so let's get started. Students play only one sport, basketball, football, or handball. So there are three sports, okay? One basketball, football, or handball. So one third of them, so them basically refers to the students who played all these three sports, okay? And one third of them played football. So this leaves another two third behind which is basically the uh, basketball and handball because those are the other two spots left. Okay, the number who played handball was half the number who played basketball. So from this, you can see that handball is only half of basketball, which means that basketball is two units and handball is one unit. Okay, so handball was only half of basketball. So basketball is two units. This two is for basketball and this one is for handball. So handball is one unit. So for part A of the question, they are asking us, the bar graph represents the number of students who played each spot. Label the bar graph by writing B for basketball, F for football and H for handball in the blanks below. Okay, so basically in order to solve this question, we need to draw a model first. So the model should have three boxes in it first because it is representing three units of the total because there are three spots. Uh, one third is for football and the two third is for basketball and handball. So the denominator is three. So we use the denominator to draw the model. Okay, so first we're going to draw these three boxes. Okay, so this box over here is actually football, okay? And these two boxes over here are actually handball and basketball. So let's write that H and B. So this handball and basketball uh, is, we don't actually know because we need to make these two units into three units, okay? So we are going to uh, subdivide this into three units. So basically this thing, I've turned it into three units now. And we know that, and we know that handball is one unit, while basketball is two units. And how many units is football? Because if we subdivide one part, we need to subdivide the other part as well. So football is actually one unit and a half. So it's basically one and a half units, okay? So now we need to uh, uh, calculate which one is the least and which one is the highest. So because we are going from least to the greatest, okay? So which one is the least? The least should actually be handball. So why am I calling this the least? Because it is shorter than the rest. And thus, it should have the least students in it. So handball is actually having the least students in it as it only have one unit. So handball is for blank number one. Blank number two is the second largest. So that's basically football because football is, is one and a half units, but basketball is two units. So basketball is larger than football but football is larger than handball. So football should be the second one because it is not larger than basketball, but is larger than handball, okay? So this is handball and this is football. And the last one should be basketball because it is the largest, it has two units, okay? So this is the answer. So now let's read part B. What fraction of the students played handball? So what fraction of the students played handball? 
So, in order to do this, we need to have a fraction of handball over total units. So, handball is actually one unit, but we don't know the total number of units. So, let's do that. So, the total units is basically one unit over here plus half a unit over here plus three. So, basically, this thing over here is three units which will give us 4.5 units, okay? So handball is one unit, so it's gonna give you one over 4.5, right? So the fraction of handball is actually one over 4.5, but you can't give your answer with a, with a decimal place as the denominator, right? So what I'm gonna do is to actually increase it uh, in order to make the denominator a whole number. So we are going to uh, times 2 both sides, which will give us 2 over 9. And that will be our final answer for this question. Okay? So I hope you do understand what I've explained to you in this question. And I hope you understand uh, how to draw a model in order to represent uh, each thing. And I hope you understood. And thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!